mock it up and it's kind of tricky as you see look at how close the wastegate and the exhaust is Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome again to the channel. I haven't given you guys an update in a while, so uh, so here it goes uh, in this BMW. So, just got the uh, AC delete kit in uh, and got most of the cage done. Everything, uh, so the two rear bars, the hoop, all these this brace um, I that tube right here that you guys see uh, right there is going all the way back that's the door hoop uh, I have the other door hoop right there on the floor um, the other the passenger side all I gotta do is uh, notch it for it to fit on the uh, on the main hoop uh, this one's already notched uh, maybe uh, maybe shape it up a little bit better so it'll fit a little bit better but as far as the cage most of it's done once I get um, so I'm having a had a slight issue ran out of gas and the place today actually didn't have gas which in th like three years that's the first time I've ever had that problem with them but um I had, they had 7525 for the MIG welder, so I went ahead and got that. And I have two bottles I have to fill for the uh, for the TIG welder, and that's what I need to be able to do all this stuff. For right now, what I want to do is just tack weld everything in place. I should go ahead and do the front plates, the, the floor plates for the front, and that way I could tack the whole um, cage together. Uh, and then do the uh, the knee bars and then go ahead and do the door bars um, it's it's gonna be a pain but it's got to get done so I went ahead and got two stubby caps stubby back caps which actually I had to take them out of the car out of the truck I opened that door and nothing but pollen flew in my face. Got me two stubby back caps for my TIG welder. The design is not really... What? No. The uh, design is not really what I would like it to be. I would like it to be a little slimmer, but I'll probably find one somewhere on the internet and uh, and then get it. Uh, what I'm doing now, because I am out of gas, that's one of the reasons why I did the um, AC delete kit now is because I have no gas for welding. So I made, had some sheet metal that was given to me um, not sure if it's like 16 gauge or something like that. It's pretty tough. Um, I think it's like 16 gauge maybe. It's pretty tough. But anyways, this is going to be the gussets. As you see, I already have them marked. And I did the center, center punch because I'm going to do um, 
flare I'm gonna flare the holes. Um, this this is these are punching flares. As you can see, this comes out of it too. This is what actually punches through the metal. And then right here and here is the flare part. So it's like a dimple die kind of. It's pretty much a dimple die is what it is. But I have three different sizes. I would like to get a lot more. I have one and a half, uh, two, and two and a half for right now. I think that's, yeah, that's all the ones I have right now. So I was thinking about going. I won't be able to go with a two just uh, because I'll close this hole is to the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the one and a half, which is just fine. And I measure with the outside with the whole the whole die because as you can see right here, it pretty much flares the whole thing. So. I'll measure with the whole the whole die. So I'll just do three on each plate. This one already has the the holes drilled out. Um, drilled the drilled them out with my step bit. It is kind of failing on me already. I guess it's not the best quality. Either that or I've gone through some pretty thick. Uh, metal so uh, but anyways you gonna do three more holes I do use my pilot bit just to pre-drill the holes and then I'll go to the step bit and then do that so I'm gonna do the second plate right now and then uh, the nice thing about this is all you got to do really is take the bolt off uh, I'll show you guys. Hold on. So pretty much, um, what I ended up doing was, let me show you here. So you, this part, you, you could do it either way, whatever, but one part, uh, I put this part with the, um, with the punch on this on the back side and then the part with the die put on this side and run the bolt run the bolt right through it and it threads on to this back part and literally all you have to do is hold it tighten it up you could actually put it in the vise maybe or something like that but you tighten it up and you feel when it punches through and then you tighten it all the way till it's flush everything is flush once it's flush you know it did the dimple uh, uh, the flare dimple die whatever you want to call it and then you can take it loose uh, one trick that before I even do this just because sometimes the, the die gets stuck on the metal and it's really hard to bring back out uh, go ahead and lube it with WD-40 or something like that that's what I have so that's what I'm gonna use um, some kind of grease something that way whenever after you punch it and you tighten it all the way down and take it back loose it's easier to, to take back out sometimes they get stuck like I said so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this plate drill it and then we're gonna go ahead and do the dimple dies all at once all right so I have both plates completely drilled out but as you see I have all these burrs and whatever, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a flat disc, clean all that stuff up, and then go ahead and do the pump and flare. Got them nice and clean out. No more burrs anywhere. So now I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do just to show you guys. I don't really, really want to put this die in here but
then make sure that I don't do double work. So this one would be passenger. This is the driver's side, so it has to go like this. It means it has to go like this. So they already got tight. All right, there you go. That's a little bit better, so I got it snug. I'm thinking, I hope I could tighten it up right there where it's at. pretty cool so there you see the, the piece that it punched through boom there you go one dimple die and this is it's not gonna be perfect it's never gonna be perfect I mean this is metal work so you need to you're going to need to like you gonna have to straighten it out and do whatever you need to do um, for example to put it on this car, it's going to have to twist a certain kind of way. So I'm going to have to weld it and then clamp it and then weld it again on the other side. So you go the one dimple die and pretty much it's just keep going to the next one and do the same, same, <clears throat> same exact thing. So just going to repeat the process really. All right, guys. So here is the gussets. It's kind of dark in here, so I'm not sure you'll be able to see. But like I said, I will have to like twist them in order for them to to fit perfectly or whatever. But pretty much, this is on the B pillar, the cage, and it so it pretty much ties in the cage. So I'll do like stitch welding. I do like one inch, skip to one inch, skip to pretty much all the way down, and then do the same thing pretty much on the on the B pillar on the car. Obviously, I'm gonna take the weather stripping off, and then uh, go ahead and TIG weld it on. But that's pretty much like uh, it, it's structural. But then again, it, it's. Uh, something to look pretty cool I like I like how I love how gussets look especially if they're dimple dyed um, so uh, but but it does add some structural it, it tight it pretty much ties in the cage uh, into the car so um, so that being said uh, I mean that's that's pretty much it for the gussets and the dimple dyes <clears throat> um, or the punch and flare as uh, Eastwood calls it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much, I'm pretty much done. I, I didn't really record anything all the way to the end because I, I found the, um, 
I, I love the, like I said, the, the dimple dye stuff and the gut sets and whatever. So I wanted to record that a little bit. But I had, I, I had fit this door, the door hoop onto, onto the, onto the cage and everything, uh, and notched it so it could fit up really good here up on the cage. And um, but that's pretty much what I did. I I almost pretty much wasted my time except for getting the the, the little stubby caps and the MIG, MIG welding uh, gas, the 7525. Um, other than that, like, what I really wanted was some 100% argon so I could go ahead and TIG weld some stuff. But that's fine. Uh, what I'll do, I'll go early, early in the morning tomorrow and then... Um, that way I can start working on this again. Uh, I could probably just do the bottom, the floor plates for the door hoops, the ones that go in the front. And then uh, I know I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna end up having to cut the door hoops on the bottom so they would fit. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll do that, the floor plates. And once I have everything tacked in place, and this is, probably different than how anybody else does it but I will tack everything in place make sure everything fits good um, complete the uh, the knee bar after the knee bar I'm gonna do the, the door bars um, once I have door bars done knee bars done uh, anything else is extra so I might throw in a diagonal bar um, that will go from from here all the way down and it'll tie into that rear to this rear bar um, just for the driver I could do an X but I'm not sure I am not sure how much material I will have left over so that being said like I said I'm I still have to do door bars and they're double um, so uh, I'm not sure from whatever I have right now how much it's gonna be left over. I said I just have to play it by ear. Do the door bars, whatever is left. I'll see if I could do that diagonal bar um, right there. Um, other than that, I think that's that's about it for today. It, today's video is super short, so uh, all I like I said, all I did was show you guys about the gussets and the dimple dies or the punch and flares, how they call them. And, uh, and that was it so we'll pick this video up I think tomorrow anyways we're gonna leave it here and we're just gonna pick it up tomorrow guys